Amber Wilson here for OpenSports.com with the Marcus Allen, of course. And Marcus, you had an extremely storied career here at USC. Obviously, Heisman Trophy winner. Everyone here clearly knows who you are. If you, behind the camera, you guys can't see, but there are fans crowding around quite rapidly. Tell me your favorite moment from when you played on the field. Wow, man, I had so many moments that uh, I think helped me grow as a person and as a uh, as an athlete. Um, but I guess uh, being the first uh, college player to, uh, I guess, you know, rush for 2,000 yards, I think would be uh, the one thing that I remember most. And and then my last game here because I walked off to an uh, to an incredible crowd and and and, and the realization to know this is you know. A part of your dream is, uh, you know, is, was, was over, and then another chapter begins and stuff. So, uh, my time here was wonderful. I can, um, I can talk about it all day long if you like. Let's talk about off the field for a second. Then, tell me, you know, what did you really love about your time at USC? Well, uh, I think, you know, and, and, and this could be argued, and, and, and some would certainly challenge me on this, but I mean, I think it's just a. Uh, the greatest um, experience for me, but I think it's just the greatest alumni uh, here. You know, we always talk about the cross uh, town team uh, that they're you know, brewing for four years and you're a Trojan for life. I mean, that is absolutely true. That that certainly does apply. Um, I've always felt like family here, and and, and and a great indication of that is that not only the star players get to come back on the sidelines for big games, the guys who are like maybe third and fourth string as well, they get to come back, and that that shows that. Uh, the people here really appreciate uh, you. Here comes Charlie White walking over here right now. <laughs> uh, the Heisman Trophy winner who I blocked for. And um, so it's kind of good to see. Hey, Charlie, how you doing? Come over to say hello, Amber and I. <laughs> so, uh, but it's, you know, my time here was just wonderful. I enjoyed yeah, it. You're surrounded by all these incredible guys like Charlie White, like you said. Lots of talent coming out of this university. You rushed for over 2,000 yards, yeah. like you mentioned. You were the first player to do so. Uh, we'll break for a second so that you can say hi to him. Yeah, I gotta say, no, it's okay. Go to Amber. This is Charlie White, the greatest. Amber, this is a guy, one of the guys who taught me how to play football, right here. This is one of the guys who taught me how to play football. It's a pleasure, pleasure to meet you. He was the most fierce competitor, and I, I had the pleasure of not only blocking for him, but rooming with him, and I learned an awful lot. And this guy really made me uh, the player that I, you know, was able to become. So tell me something. I know that, but I wanted to tell him that. So. Oh, well, that, that's that's really nice for you. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. Thank you. Good <laughs> seeing you, brother. Well, another you, reason brother. that kids like to come to our school. It's hard to walk away from seven Heisman Trophy winners in yeah, the uh, seven yeah. Heisman trophies in Heritage yeah. Hall. You yeah. see that? That that obviously influences a lot of kids. See you, Charlie. Yeah, so, you know, talking about all the star power at USC and, and what you accomplished with your over 2,000-yard season and all that, watching the program since you left, was there any player that, you know, came after you in your position that you really, that really stood out for you? Well, of course. Uh, I think you, you look at Reggie and what he's uh, been able to accomplish. Uh, but, I mean, we've, we've just had uh, uh, unprecedented success, and, and we're thrilled by that and stuff. You know, at one point we did hit a low. Uh, we didn't play uh, to the level that we felt we were playing. We didn't get the recruits that we were uh, capable of getting. But, you know, Pete Carroll came and everything has changed, and he's done a phenomenal job. And I think the most important thing uh, that Pete has shown that is he really cares about the athletes, um, first and foremost, and he wants the best for them, and he wants them to play their very, very best. And it doesn't matter if you're a freshman or a senior, you can play, but you got to compete. How do you feel about this team today? How would you guys do against this squad? Well, see, that that's not even fair. See, uh, you know, because uh, we, we feel like we can beat everybody. We won the national championship, too. We had a Hall of Famers on uh, offense. We had a Hall of Famers on defense and stuff. And so we're, um, you know, we're, 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 we're I, I think we would have fared well against any team that we played against. Let's mention your pro career real quick, too, because obviously, you know, you were NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. You were drafted 10th, I believe, in the draft. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, lots of hype that, going. The you, why did you hate that? Well, because I thought I was better than number 10. I proved, I proved them all wrong, though, because, you know, I did win the Rookie of the Year. And, and I think uh, what possibly hurt me was is the fact that they've had so much success at USC. And then when those running backs... Um, uh, transition to the pros they didn't play as well so that, I think that may have reflected on, uh, on me but I, I, I you know I didn't own any of that you know I believed that I was going to have a great career that was my uh, that was my quest that's what I wanted to do right. well since you had success at both levels what was the difference for you between like the college game and the professional game maybe something that the pro game was lacking that all this 
odds too for the college game? Well, there's nothing like the uh, the collegiate atmosphere, that's for sure. Uh, and I didn't realize uh, what kind of party it was until I actually came back uh, to a game and, and, and went up to get a 7-up um, and saw the student body, uh, you know, near the, uh, the at halftime, and I go, oh my God, what a party around here! If I'd have known that, maybe I would have got distracted and not played as well when I was here. But I'm glad I didn't. You so. guys missed out on all that because you're well, always we, working. Yeah, so we missed hard. out on a lot. I tell you that. Well, you're making up for it now. You're making up for it now. All right, let's talk about open sports real quick because we're really happy to have you on board. Thank you. Tell us a little bit what you're doing for us. Well, I listen here. I. I, I you know, I'm challenging everybody to, to tackle the pros. I'm one of the pros, and uh, if you if you do win head to head, there's 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 an opportunity to win some autographs. But uh, don't go against me because you won't win a thing. I'm just telling you right now. You may go against you know Marshall Falk. We have uh, John Elway. We have Roger Craig. Um, uh, John Seahorn, uh, Jonathan Ogden. We have a lot of guys that are involved with uh, open sports. Uh, the content is great. The interaction is great. And that's what it's all about. We're trying to give the fans um, a place they can go to be a part of and uh, com compete with, talk to um, the pro athletes. All right. Well, it is an absolute honor to have you on board, Marcus. Thank, thank you, you so much for thank your you time. So much. Thank you. So you think you can tackle a pro? There's only one way to find out. Click on fantasy at opensports.com.